if somebody is skeptical let's say it's your team member or your wife or some you know a client how do you turn that skeptic person into take them to, from that skepticism to action mood that's exactly what we are talking about in today's video Bishal Sarkar here for the last 13 years I've been training high-level leaders exactly how to be powerful speakers so that they can have that productivity the power the performance and the peace of mind so if you want to know more about exactly how to do it for yourself stay till the end I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that okay the first thing you gotta understand I'm gonna give you the three techniques um, the first one is if you want to turn a skeptic into you know uh, get them to an action mode I'm gonna give you an example so a couple of you know years ago I wanted one of my team members whose name was Deepika she doesn't work with us anymore um, and I'm talking about 2016 you know I wanted her to you know do something I wanted her to learn a specific skill so what I did is that at that time instead of just telling her to do it I just this is called the commonality frame okay so I spoke about the commonality but I've learned it from Nitaji Subhash Chandra Bose, who used to do that very well, where basically, let's say I'm talking to you, I want you to do something. I'll talk about something common, right? Let's say I want to, if I was trying to tell you the benefits of an iPhone, not selling you, nobody needs to sell an iPhone and people buy iPhone. If I was trying to tell you the benefit of the iPhone, and if I was trying to tell you that instead of buying another phone, get an iPhone, I would tell you something like this. You know, there is something common between you and I, and that is, we don't want overwhelm. We want to take some good memories in our phone and we want to make sure that we feel good when we actually travel through life, don't we? See, what I'm doing right now is I'm building a commonality frame and then we can talk about how the iPhone can help us and help you, you know, reduce the overwhelm, have more clarity, capture great memories and absolutely have that great fun. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So commonality, talk, think about how you can use commonality frame with your, with your team. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, when he was building Ajad Hind Foz, a lot of people were against him. But he always brought people together with that commonality frame. As you can see him right now, he was a master leader. See, the problem is that you cannot learn about anybody just by watching YouTube videos. You have to really learn in deep manner. And we can show you exactly how to do that inside our program. Okay, so the commonality frame is one. I believe there is something common between all of us. And then you talk about the common things that your idea can solve. Does that make sense to you? That's the first idea. The second idea is what I call the WII FM technique. The favorite FM station of everybody. What is WII FM technique? What's in it for me? As you can see on the screen, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? Once you tell them that this is what the iPhone can do, tell them what's in it for them, right? How they can use it, how they can use your idea. Let's say you want to hire somebody, you want to fire somebody, you want to expand the team, you want a big budget. Talk about what is the benefit of that person, of that team, of that individual, of that, you know, entity of taking that action, right? What's in it for them? What's in it for me? What's in it for them? Uh, very important technique. So if you want your child to study, don't just say study because you have to study. Tell them, I, I believe there is something common between you and I, and that is we both hate studies. You know, we both hate studies, but we also both of us want to sound good when we are around friends, isn't it? When you study every single day for about a you know, few hours, what's in it for me, the, the person? They're asking, what's in it for me? In the mind, the audience is asking, what's in it for me? When you study every single day for a few hours, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be the smartest person around your friends. Everybody wants to be friends with you. Isn't that what you want? See, what's in it for me? That's the audience what is asking. Third is talk about what is the loss, potential loss, if they don't take action. If they don't take action, what is the potential loss for them? Got it? And you can say it in four different manners. What will they lose being? What will they lose doing? What will they lose gaining? And what will they lose enjoying? For example, I don't have to talk about our public speaking course because, you know, they, they get filled automatically anyway. But if I was trying to convince you, which I have zero <laughs> desire to do that because our, we don't need to sell our courses get filled automatically. But if I was telling you about why you should join our public speaking program, I would say, you know, the reason you should join our program is because if you do not join, you know, let's say th these three frames, there is something common between you and I, and that is you and I want to express our ideas in the most powerful way, isn't it? When you join our public speaking program, you are going to be that authority. You're going to be that shining speaker who can take the idea from the head and communicate to people in such a manner that people say, wow, 
But if you do not do this, you will not be able to be a good speaker. You will not be able to do great things in your career. You will not gain the financial benefit of getting that promotion, the hike, the raise, and the praise, and the award, and the reward. And you will not be able to enjoy a great life. Can you see what I'm doing right now? Okay, commonality frame, WIFM potential loss. And the fourth one you talk about, this is very important. This takes a lot of confidence to do that and genuine nature. Most people can't do this. And that is you talk about your personal benefit. See, a lot of people will come and say, I'm doing it for you. But if you say that, you know, these are the things for you. But if you take this action, it will also help me. You, you become genuine at that time. Right? You talk about my personal benefit. It will help me if you do this. So I was telling Deepika that you know a couple of years ago, Deepika, if you do this, you know it will help me because it will save me a lot of time too. And she learned that skill. I talked about the commonality between her and I and our entire team. What is in it for her that she can make more money, she can save her time, she can hone her skill. And what is the potential law that she will be stuck in the career in the current role she will not be able to grow and then i talked about how she learning that skill will help me she learned that skill right even though it was a completely out skill out of her nature you have to be honest guys you can't just make things up and that these are the four things i want to talk about these are the four techniques i talked about three techniques but four techniques actually that can take somebody from skepticism skepticism all the way to action mood if you want to take people from skepticism to action mode, you, you do that. And this is just the, just the information that you learned right now. If you want to learn how to do it practically, if you want to learn, if you want to, you know, start a new chapter of your life, uh, what I recommend right now is the next step for you is to give us a call. You know, you can see the number on the screen. Give us a call and talk to one of our team members about how our program works, because our program is not theoretical. We have a very practical program where we give you actionable strategies, practical techniques. We handhold you, give you the coaching, give you the feedback, give you the mentorship. If you, that's what you want, I want you to take the phone and call us right now because this is not a recorded program that a lot of people are doing. This is not those bullshit, you know, five day <laughs> course on WhatsApp. This is not just uh, where hundreds of people are there. We personally coach you and mentor you. We tell you your mistakes. We tell you what you're doing right. We tell you what you're doing wrong so that you know exactly how to improve. You want improvement? Call the number that you see on the screen so we can help you. Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Uh, hi, I am Kripa. Uh, I work as operations manager uh, in Bangalore. Yes, uh, my biggest challenge is um, um, I went through some you know, low, lowest point in my life. So I was finding it very difficult to, you know, talk to people. I used to corner myself. Um, I didn't have a courage to go in front of people and, uh, you know, place myself in a, a right position. Um, so I, you know, always it, it was a setback in my life. Uh, now, after uh, when I um, found out this Bishal Sarkas web website when I went through, um, and I start, it, it's been a journey, you know, though it is a short journey till now. I thought there is a place where I can explore myself, my potential. So it's basically unlocking myself. I present at an audience of 150 people. Just a few months ago, I could not even speak to an audience of 15 people. Forget about 150 people. I would just go blank on the stage. I would completely lose my chain of thought. I used to be so nervous on the stage. To think of those days, today I'm a much more confident person. I can address a very large audience easily. I attribute all these changes to Mr. Bishal Sarkar's public speaking courses, mastermind sessions, and of course all the honest effort that I put as part of it. I have actually public uh, speaking fear, that's a silly stage fear. I can talk, I can teach hours together with respect to my subject. But whenever I go on stage in front of a big audience, so I'll get uh, nervous and uh, I have that stage fear. Yeah, I came to know my weakness, why I am getting stage fear. Because our, uh, Bishal has told me that you are not accepting the appreciation that is given by others. So that's, that's why I, I was expecting perfection everywhere. So I came to know that I should take the appreciation positively. I move forward, so that has built my uh, has built my confidence. Yeah, in fact, uh, um, uh, today I was taking a, just to share with all. 
I was today uh, addressing a group of people at NGO online for about an hour where, you know, uh, so there is a uh, cancer society for which we conduct a CSR activity and <coughs> their parents, they come from all over India and uh, Tata Memorial, they guide them to an NGO. So all those NGO people, parents, I was addressing today for about an hour or so with my MD and a couple of them. So just, just wanted to share. Some good wow, things. wow, that's, that's amazing. Clap it up for, for, thanks, for thanks, Anup. Thanks, Absolutely. thanks. I presented an audience of 150 people.